right, good morning, everyone. It's Debbie from the Happy Stamper. From the Happy Stamper. Why did I always say that? It is so bad. It is the Fancy Stamper, not the Happy Stamper. I have no idea why I said that. I know my name. <laughs> anyway, the reason I'm making this video today is because uh, some people may have won something from me recently. I was doing a giveaway, and this is one of the sets I was giving out. Um, it's called Hey Chick, and it was available with the uh, current celebration promotion. If you ordered at least $50 worth of product, then you could choose anything you wanted in our, in our promotion, which is actually ending at the end of this month. But um, for those who didn't order, sometimes I like to just do free giveaways, and this is how this came about. I went ahead and did a free giveaway. Some people won here and there. And um, in this giveaway, what I did a little differently is I realized a lot of people are just coming back to card making, or maybe they're just new crafters. And a lot of people, believe it or not, they just don't think they can do it. They don't have a lot of confidence and you can really create a very pretty card um, with not a lot of effort if you just have the right materials and have a little instruction. So that's why I'm making this tutorial. So you can see it yourself and see that it really is pretty easy and you can do it. So if you got a package from me and it had a stamp kit, uh, not a kit, but a stamp set in it like this, um, you may have had some of these things too. I'm gonna show you what you probably got. You got some embellishments from me. You got a few pieces of ribbon. You got some blank pieces of cardstock, which I went ahead and put through my big shot machine with my die cutting shapes, because it makes kind of pretty shapes that you can use them to stamp on. And then you got some basic cardstock, which are the Stampin' Up colors. Um, and you got some pieces of the designer series paper too, so that you can make a layered look. And I think the last set of people got three uh, card kit, not card kits, I, I don't like that word, but it's um, supplies to make three cards. Let's just say that, because that's what it is. They're just supplies and you're gonna do the stamping. So it's really wonderful. Um, this is another one of the designer series paper uh, patterns that you may have gotten, or you may have gotten three completely different colors, I don't know, but whatever you got, it's gonna look really pretty together. Also, I did give you three envelopes too. These are just as much fun to decorate, and I'm gonna show you how, okay? So let's just go ahead and get started with the stamping. I'm gonna move these things out of the way. One of the little, this is, I know mine are well-loved, and so that means they're kinda of dirty. Yours are gonna be clean, <laughs> mine are dirty. <laughs> but that's because I use them all the time. But I'm gonna pull a couple of them out that we're gonna to use to start off with. And um, I like to get right into the stamping. So I'm gonna use this bigger one to use the main chicken with. Um, sometimes when I get new, uh, new customers or new people that come into my page or new, um, new winners of giveaways, I may have a wood mounted set because Stampin' Up! comes in clear mount, which is what these are, and then you have your own blocks, which is really convenient. <clears throat> Actually, it's a space saver. A lot of people like me who have more than one set, I won't say how many more, but a lot more, we like these because it's, it is, again, it's a space saver. So you can see this, look how skinny it is. But if you have one that's a wood mount, let me show you what that looks like. This is a different set, but look how fat that is compared to this. Okay, so gee, I think I could put three other stamp sets where I just have this one. And it's much better for me anyway, to just go ahead and purchase one set of these clear blocks. I have like several sizes so that I can use all the different sizes of stamps. For me, it works out better. Some people, kind of old school people, might like the, um, the wooden sets and that's fine. So I'm not sure exactly what you got because if I had, a, if I had one of these with the wooden blocks, I probably sent it to you because I don't know if you have these. If I didn't have any more of these, I just sent you what I had, which is usually these that I order. Either way, even if you did get this one, you can easily um, get yourself some of these clear blocks. Uh, they have them everywhere, or you can purchase them from my site if you want to. So I'm gonna go ahead with this ink. I'm gonna move this off here for now. All right, and you saw how easy that was to put on. I just put it on and so you can see through. It's really nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and ink this up. I tap it and then I twist it. Tap, tap, twist, that's how I do it. And then I always do like a sample. Okay, so see, I, I know I need a little more ink down at the bottom. A 
one more sample stamp. Okay, that looks really good to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and re-ink her up and put it right on the middle. Oopsie, it's stuck, it always sticks. There we go, it looks really nice. All right, so I'm gonna put this to the side, put that stamp to the side, and I am going to stamp my sentiment, which I will use the little round one. I think that's cute. And uh, I am going to stamp the sentiment that says, hey, chick. So let's get that out. Hey, chick. Hey, chick, how you doing? I think it's kind of funny. This is too small, so let me just get the next size up. There we go. Okay. So again, I'm going to ink that baby up a little bit. Give it a practice. Okay. Sometimes it's upside down. <laughs> So it's always good to practice. These clear blocks are nice too because you can kind of see right through them and you can position them. It's awesome, I think. So I'll put this to the side to dry for a minute. And let's move these little guys off my workstation. It's all the stamping I'm gonna do on this card, so I'm just gonna close my ink pad. Now, if you have stamping up ink pads, they're wonderful because they have these little three dots right here. You can see where to push down to open them so you just give it a little push and it kind of flips it up like that this is kind of an older set but it still works and then you snap it into position and then when you want to put it away you just put your fingers here and pull it there you go and it's always kind of uh, some sort of a challenge to not get ink all over your fingers I tend to do that but I didn't this time so yay all right now this chick is a little bit hmm how can i say it colorless <laughs> there we go it's colorless so i want to have a little color on that chick so i am going to go ahead and use my watercolor pencils to give it some color and for this one i'm going to use this color this is my marina mist so um, and you notice too, when you get the designer series paper, there's two sides and you can choose whichever side you want to make that go with your set. I mean, I could use these little words. Those are really cute. Or I could use these little polka dots. So either way, you have your choice. So when I go to color this, what I'm gonna do, and I have my little watercolor pencils here, which are wonderful. Um, I will just go ahead and get my watercolor pencils. And the nice thing about the watercolor pencils is you don't have to detail in every single thing like when you're coloring with crayons. You just kind of put a layer of color down like I'm doing here. I know you guys think I'm being messy. I really am being kind of messy, but this is the way the watercolor pencils work. So once you have that down like that, we have blender pens that we use and we just kind of get the blender pen in there and then you just sort of work it around. You just pick up a little of the color and work it around. And it gives it a watercolor effect, which I think is quite charming. It looks really nice. Doesn't look overdone or anything. All right, so that was the blue. And they say orange goes with blue. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it for the head and the beak and the wing and the tail. Might as well do the feet too. No, I want to do that in brown. So I have my brown pencil here. So I'm just going to put a little color on that while I'm here. All right, where did it go? All righty. So again, pick up some of the color of the orange. Kind of swirl it around. And um, before you know it, it's all done. Now because it's sort of a watercolor effect, if you come outside the lines a little, it's not a big thing. And I think that, you know, for a cute little quick card, this is really cute. All right, so it looks like we are at the point where we can start putting this together, which is great. So I'm gonna move this stuff out of the way. I'm gonna get my adhesive, which is my snail adhesive. And I also have some of these embellishments, which we're gonna talk about now. Well, they're not really embellishments. These are the ribbons. So what I'm going to do for this one is I kind of like the look of this burlap because it's sort of rustic with the with the chicken. So I'm going to put that there. And then before I adhere this down, what I would like to do is put the ribbon on first. So 
What I like to do with these ribbons is go ahead and just tie a knot, just kind of a plain knot, nothing fancy. Just like that. And I also like to keep it in place because I don't like it when they wiggle around all over the place. I like it when they stay in place. Some people are okay with them wiggling around and I'm not. I like them to stay still. So what I'm gonna do is just give it a little glue dot there. These are the glue dots right here. And I'm gonna just put that right about there, kind of stick that down. So okay, now you see it's sticking down, but it's not sticking anywhere else. So what I do is I use a piece of regular tape Flip it over and then just use the tape to go ahead and adhere it in the back here. I think the hardest part is not getting the tape over the edges. And if you can do that, you've done it. All right, and then with this part, I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna bring the, bring the burlap ribbon this way, flip it over, turn it, grab my tape, tear off a little piece, and we are good to go again. All right, I think that looks good for me, but this is popping up. Like, see, I told you it was gonna do that. I don't like that. So I'm just gonna go stick one more little glue dot there. So now it's gonna stay, it's gonna stay down until I get it taped on there. So I'm gonna flip it back over and use my snail adhesive all along the edges, all the way around all four edges so it doesn't pop up anywhere. And it'll stay there for a long time. All right, and now just kind of center it on here. You want a little bit of a border around the four edges and you want to try to keep it as even as you can. But again, if it's a little bit uneven, it's not a big deal. It's gonna look good anyway. All right, so you have this part done. Doesn't that look good? Yeah, I think so too. Now we just have to decide where we're gonna put this. We can put this here and we can do it up higher. Um, I do want to cover a little bit of the ribbon and I'm going to put this one over here. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do for this card. Again, when you get yours home, the sky's the limit. You can let the genie out of the bottle, do whatever you want, and you can have a lot of fun doing it. So this is just what I'm gonna do. Uh, you can do whatever once you get it home and uh, see what you wanna do. So with this, I'm gonna use the dimensionals these are little adhesive hexagon shapes that we have at Stampin' Up! And they really do a good job of giving the finished product a little bit of extra dimension. That's why they call them dimensionals. Isn't that smart? <laughs> Stampin' Up! Pe people are so smart, the creators of Stampin' Up! They are geniuses over there, let me tell you. All right, so I told you I was going to let this cover over that ribbon just a little bit. So I did, I covered it over just a little bit. And then with this Hey Chick, I definitely want a couple of more of these dimensionals. So I'm gonna put three on here. When you buy dimensionals, when you place an order and you start buying stuff off of the website, you get a package of three of these. So there's total, in total there's 300 of these dimensionals and it's $4, so they're quite, cost effective and that's why you see me slapping them on here three at a time four at a time it doesn't really matter because they're so um, cost effective it's not a big problem so i'm gonna go ahead and put this right here it says hey chick hey chick how you doing hey chick how's your day i guess it wouldn't look work for a guy would it all right and then i did send you some embellishments these are just some of the little uh rhinestones they're called basic rhinestones so i always like to put a little bit of bling on my project so on this one i'm going to put one down here in that corner and maybe one right here too here here i think down here all right so this is my finished project for this card what i was going to tell you also is that these envelopes are really cute if you want to um, decorate them too, it's, it's nice to do that. 
I'm gonna go ahead and show you with this stamp here, because this is an awfully cute stamp. This is the uh, stamp that, there's a sentiment that goes along with it that says you're a good egg. It's really cute. That's gonna be the next card I make. So with this, you can just do that in the bottom corner of your envelope, or you could even, we have a crazy looking, crazy looking chicken in here and this is adorable. So I'm gonna show you on this guy here. A lot of times we just do this. We kind of go off the envelope a little bit and we have this crazy looking chicken. Matter of fact, I like to put two of her because she's so crazy looking. I like her. So with these, what, what I do too is I'll tend to color these in to match the card sometimes if I have time or you don't even have to do that, but it's, it's a cute, it makes for a cute stamp. Now I'm not going to show you how to do the other cards with the other colors, but I think you get the hang of what you should do. And then on the inside, you can just write your sentiment or whatever. You can make it be whatever you want. But I hope you like this. And um, if you want, go on over to my Facebook page or even my website. It's www.thefancystamper.com. And from there, you can go to my shopping page or anywhere else you need to go. You can always message me. You can even text me if you have a question. I'm really happy to help. Um, I'd love to help you get started or maybe even consider coming to one of my classes. Every third Monday, I have a class that meets. It's called Simple and Stunning. So during those classes, we make similar cards to this one. They're quite simple, but they're pretty. And you can get the hang of it again, and then we'll step it up from there. All right, well, thank you guys for joining me, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.